Hello everyone and uh, welcome to episode 14 of my quick and easy guide series. Today we will discuss something that is very important, especially for beginners to know, and that is how to level up your ships effectively. And uh, these will not be the best methods or the most fastest and easiest methods to level up your ships, but they will definitely help you out as a beginner. Anyways, let's get into it. And uh, let's just take Admiral Nakhmov as an example since she's level 1. Now first thing first, as a beginner I'm going to assume that you are not sitting on 2000 plus EXP data packs. So I will not be using EXP data packs as an example to level up your ships. I will be assuming that you do not have a surplus of these and you just want to level up your ships from scratch. Now the first thing that you should do is put your ships that you want to level up in your dorm floor one that will give you passive exp as long as your dorm has food in it and that will start giving you your ship levels that it needs or that she needs anyways that is the first step that i think you should take the second step is something that some people might find controversial but if you have a surplus of oil and you know that you will be not you will not be playing the game for 10 hours or so then doing this 10 hour research mission is a good method put five ships that you want to level for this uh, you need at least one level 70 ship by the way which let's just assume you have and with this you can get quite a bit of exp coins and if you're lucky the third thing can be five to eight cubes this will give you quite a decent amount of resources of course you know assuming you have a surplus of oil and you will not be playing the game for 10 hours so yeah this is also a pretty good way to get exp now let's take a more active approach for example these two were passive approaches where you're get passively getting exp for your ships now for the more active approach what i recommend is when if your ship is level one and very low level for example and you want to start getting exp assuming that you want to farm 3-4 for Akagi and Kaga, this is known as the Fox Hill by the way, and of course to, uh, repair toolkits or you need a, a good decent budget beginner plane which is the F4U Corsair, and of course there are other ships like Nimi, Portland, Fletcher, Cassin Downs, Langley, and well, Foot Spence as well, and Ranger. Assuming you need all these ships, you can farm 3-4 and you can level up your ship to level 70 which I believe is a good stopping point after you reach level 70 what I recommend you to do is to limit break your ships and once you limit break them fully limit break them you can take them to level uh, well, well chapter 8 and farm 8-4 because 8-4 has a really good gun that it gives and uh, it also uh, gives you a you know the purple plates and uh, well, Maya for collection and there are some other ships as well that you might want for your collection or just to use. 8-4 you can do 1-1 one, one farming because this unfortunately does not have the oil cap. You can do 1-1 one, one or 2-1 one farming depending on how strong your ships are. And uh, this can give you quite a decent bit of EXP as well. And you can level them up till uh, level 90 or 95 or even 100 if you you know you want to. After, after you're done with 8-4 and you reach level 100 you this is where you want to start pushing uh to the chapters chapter 9 is usually not recommended to farm even though you have a uh, all cap on this and auto clear and whatnot i don't recommend you farm because 9-4 is not that good of course uh you know 9-2 as well i, th I believe there was uh yeah 9 uh chapter 9 is usually not recommended because it's just not worth it so once you clear 9-4, let's just assume, you know, you push through 9-4. If you cannot, by the way, then don't be shy to farm 9-4 with a 3-3 three, three combination where 3 ships in the main fleet, 3 ships in the vanguard fleet. And then you can do clearing mode and, uh, you know, cost limit as well. Your the oil cap, which will make you not spend as much oil as 6 ships and just limit the oil that you spend. And you will get uh, quite a bit of EXP, but from what I've heard, this is not very efficient. So 
usually you want to push through world 9 and world 10 is where things get better and 10 2 is a good place to farm for sg radars which i believe you know are quite a bit uh, decent for the birdles ahead and uh, sg radar and of course uh, there's you know a good spread of ships as well that you might want to farm and uh yeah, nine two is actually not bad. Uh, ten two is not a bad place to farm, I believe. Uh, no, what was it? Ten four. Yeah, ten four is a place. Yeah, where you get Jinsu. So ten four is also a really good place that you can farm. And uh, these are whatever, not that good anymore. But ten four is also a good place to farm. And on ten four, you can just push uh, a lot. And since you have oil cap, you can farm here. With a six six fleets uh six ships ship setup, and uh, yeah you can push uh, quite a bit of levels. Of course, the eleven one is considered to be the best exp per oil, uh, you know, according to all the calculations done by the you know, Chinese players, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is considered to be the best exp per oil. So eleven one is a good place if you want to get the most exp out of the oil that you have spent of course you also get a decent gun from here but you know it is not the best or well i mean it is the best for exp per oil but i do not like farming level one because finally i would recommend once you push world 12 and you kill her trial 4 you want to farm 12 4 because this is a very good balance of coins and the oil spent and the exp 12-4 is where I live, I breathe here, I live here, I mean, yeah, 700 plus of these, so yeah, I've been farming 12-4, in my opinion, this is a good point to stop, 12-4 is probably my favorite mission that I use to level up all my ships, so yeah, I mean, this is not obviously, now we're pushing like end game level, leveling up, but gradually you want to reach here and this is a good point to stop you don't have to go too crazy you know you don't if you are crazy you know you're like oh i want to min max everything then yeah 11 1 is the best exp per oil but so yeah anyways uh that is all for today i hope this helped and as the title suggests and as i've said in the beginning of the video this is for beginners you know we're assuming that you do not have exp data packs so you can't really you know just spam those and get your ship to level 100 and start farming 12-4 like a madman we're just gonna assume you know that's not a thing so this is how you gradually reach that level and you start farming anyways thanks for watching and uh i'll see you all next week goodbye